Herzlich a warm welcome, dear viewers, to our series Natural Medicine. Our big topic today is about the lymphs, about the removal of toxins. And if there are problems here and there and congestion, then it can also lead to secondary diseases such as lipedema, from which the patients really suffer enormously because there is almost no way out of it. And one possibility that we have today a really great woman, Evelyn Siebold, will tell us and report about her experiences with it. She's a trained nurse, and I am very curious what she has to say to us today. Stay tuned. Hello, dear Evelyn. Nice to have you here. Hello, Karina. Greetings. Thank you. You are currently a nurse in Austria. Perhaps you can say two or three words about yourself, about your wealth of experience and your career. Yeah, my professional experience went from healing massage to nursing, then to therapist training, and now I am self-employed. I have a practice for elimination methods and actually have been completely self-employed since 2012. Wow, wow great, and you have a lot to tell, especially on the subject of lymph. If I'm really interested myself, we haven't talked about it much here so far, and then the question for you, what are the most important co cornerstones when it comes to the subject of lymph flow? In general, our lymphatic system is directly or indirectly involved in almost all bodily functions. And the lymphatic system is actually a cooperation partner of our circulation and is responsible for the removal of tissue fluids. And that also means all loads that are subject to the lymphatic system. These are substances that are not allowed to circulate in the blood system should be removed. And that normally works quite well, unless there's an infection, an operation. A trauma, an accident. Then it may well be that lymphatic drainage disorders develop. And it'd be nice if you would recognize that in, adva that in advance, in good time, so complications such as real lymphedema or lymphedema are not developing, which develop over a longer period of time. That doesn't happen overnight. What would be the classic signs of beginning lymph problems? Do they swell or...? So it comes to an increase in volume in the tissue. Many people complain about heavy legs, tired legs, swelling in the evening. But it doesn't just have to be the legs, it can also be the arms, upper arms, and with lipedema, it is generally a fat distribution disorder, so drainage is also defective. There are, of course, various lymph obligatory loads there are, of course, lymph obligatory water loads and fatty loads. It's all a little hard to explain. But these drainage disturbances are very well noticed. So you can't get it in your shoes or, for example, patients say, I always do the same thing and all of a sudden I need an extra size for my pants or I'm stuck in my blouse. The blouse suddenly no longer fits. These are signs where you can see a drainage disorder slowly develops. How can I counteract this in the first step? Or support the lymph? So a very important topic is movement. Also diet, slow, moderate exercise, so swimming, jogging, walking, slow cycling. The lymph just has to stay in the flow, that's the first thing. Stay hydrated. What I always notice, many ladies respond very well to pressed juices. Basic nutrition, for example, would be the simplest things that I could do. 
If that doesn't work, the causes have to be clarified. Now, when I'm dealing with lipedema, as I know from many years of experience with my customers, it really is a drama. So you can exercise, you can change your diet, and the body does not react. Yeah, hardly reacts. But is there anything that can be done? Do you really have success with lipedema patients in patients who say, wow, something is going in the right direction? So lipedema is generally a fat distribution disorder and there is symmetrical accumulation of fat with the upper body usually remaining very narrow and the pelvis and legs then become voluminous in various shapes. Generally, they say there is a genetic predisposition and I can only say, for my terms, I notice it again and again with hormonal changes. So ladies who take the contraceptive pill for a long time, hardly have pill breaks or during changes, pregnancies, less actually in menopause, so less there. Most ladies are between 20 and 30. But of course it can also be that there is a pill break and then pregnancy. That would be, oh, she's going again. So a really big burden for the ladies. And how do you go about with the clients in your practice? Also men, women tend to be more affected by it, right? I have rarely met men, actually, I never met a man with lipedema. I don't know anyone either. I have seen drainage problems in men after cancer problems. So after radiation, but lipedema generally only in women. There is an extremely detailed anamnesis interview and what I also do, I always ask about their mental state and I keep hearing issues that often happened years ago, mental emotional trauma, grief, Emotional stress, divorce, loss of partners, so very different topics, so very different topics. And I try to integrate that into the treatment. Okay, and what treatments are you doing for them when you include this psycho-neuroimmunological aspect? So in general, the form of treatment for the practical form of treatment, we try to put together from the anamnesis what could be the causes. Then I contact psychoneuroimmunologists in order to be able to clarify this. And in the practice itself, we try conservative treatment. And I've been working very intensively with the Repulse Red Light for two years. With the radiator, I really love that because lipedema is painful to pressure. Lipedema is very difficult to remove and the tissues become very soft due to the pre-treatment and I cannot use the lymphatic drainage work with the soft edema movements but I can also combine it with a connective tissue treatment. I can combine this form of treatment and I don't think it would be possible without the repulse. How can I imagine that? What is the Repulse device? How do you work with it? Well, Repulse is a radiator. It's cold, pulsed, red light in a certain strength and tends to decrease inflammation, which is also an issue with lipedema. The tissue becomes softer, it does not heat the tissue, but it becomes softer 
and I use it to irradiate the drainage areas, which are very important drainage areas, such as if the legs are affected, the hollow of the knees, the inguinal lymph nodes. Then the tissue, or these knots that you can feel in the tissue, becomes soft. That hurts the women incredibly. And you can irradiate it quite well, then specify the direction for the lymph to drain and open the connective tissue at the same time. And there we gain a lot in centimeters. And these ladies are really ready to work with us. It is, of course, also a compliance matter for the patient because some really want to. They are totally motivated and say, I'm ready to change my diet and I want to integrate movement. And that's what we work for. And I start at the beginning with two or three treatments once a week. We measure the tissue, we see how many centimeters we have. And the first three treatments once a week. And then we try to increase the intervals, of course, with a change of diet, with exercise. We try to integrate that and really clarify the causes. That is a very important thing. So there are various causes, for example, that the microbiome is not well, the gut is not well, or that the person is generally a poor detoxifier, or that there is simply microinflammation in the tissue. In general, the hormonal situation, there are a lot of topics. Mm -hmm. Super. Now, I have forgotten the question. Now, I just had a question. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. What did I want to ask? Oh, yes. Now I remember. In Austria, the health insurance pays for this, right? Yes, if lipedema is diagnosed, there is a possibility that the health insurance will pay for it. I think that's really great for the reason that you don't always have a therapist on hand and you can very well take responsibility for yourself and especially with such problems, take responsibility for yourself. That depends, of course, on compliance, but I can help myself now. If the tissue is painful to pressure, or if there are bruises, the patients can, of course, do a great job at home. And I have to honestly say, with lipedema or mixed forms, lipolymphedema, there is also the problem that the skin is not okay. This is all wonderful to treat with the radiator. People can do it themselves and are not constantly dependent on a therapist. Mm -hmm. For example, in summer, when the legs are very heavy, that's really wonderful because, of course, for the patients, it really is an immense relief especially with the lymphs, in order to keep the whole lymphatic system in good shape preventatively. Are there also options? Yes, so a very important topic is nutrition. Our movement. In general, if you have drainage problems, the regulation of the acid-base balance is an issue. In the pharmacy, you can buy small test strips and can do it in the morning. I would do that for a week in the morning. Measure your saliva on an empty stomach without brushing your teeth and urine. And again, in the evening before going to bed. And for this acid-base balance, the saliva should have a pH from 6.7 to 7.2. Somewhere in that area for saliva. And urine between 4.9 and 5.5. Then I can see how our lymphatic system is regulated. The second thing I really enjoy practicing with the ladies is squeezing juice. So I always discuss that beforehand 
Whether they want to do it or not, squeeze vegetable juices with a slow juicer and drink them instead of breakfast. I also often tell them lemon, boiled water with lemon, and drink that throughout the day. Be careful with the food. Displace meals, please, if possible, not too many meals. And also watch out for refined carbohydrates, sugar. So lower the sugar load, lower the carbohydrate load and do moderate exercise. But I have to say the ladies can feel very well in which direction it is going. And not every woman is the same. And we really try to adapt it well because it has to be livable. Yes, exactly. Because for 14 days, three weeks or six weeks, I'm fully motivated and I do that and then I fall back into a pattern. It's about lifestyle change too and it's really very tedious. It's not that everyone can do it easily also because of their work, or some because there are just emotional things that they love to snack or snack in the evening. You just try to work a lot on it. And some achieve it earlier, others take a little longer. We can do it. Nice. If the suffering really gets too great and the women decide to have liposuction, then I also accompany. Then I can only say preoperatively, I would definitely treat with the repulse radiator beforehand. Treat all drainage areas. We expect great surgical results from our surgeons. However, you can also contribute to it yourself. And then I can only say, for me, the radiator, I can only say that it has become the ultimate device. That's unbelievable. I've been in practice for over 40 years, but I wouldn't want to miss it. And you can rent the device, you can work pre-operatively. You can then also work post-operatively, remove the hematomas. And I would start as soon as possible post-operatively. At the beginning, maybe only with the lymph movements, and you can increase and can use connective tissue techniques. Great. Are there still areas of application in your practice where you say, wow, there is no question for me, I'll use it there? Yes, definitely after cosmetic operations. The tendency is that age is increasing. Then generally when chemo patients or cancer patients have completed their conventional medical therapies, definitely in scar treatment and then in abdominal surgery as well. Very important. Even with trauma, even after orthopedic operations, the repulse device has so many areas of application. My job was just trying to create meaningful forms of treatment. Mm -hmm. The form of treatment should be simple and efficient. And you shouldn't make the patient dependent. But I think you should cut them off in this direction. And especially for me, it's an issue because you really have the opportunity at home. You can rent the device. You can do it yourself at home. And it doesn't matter whether a physiotherapist explains it or a massage therapist explains it. It's important that the patient knows which direction they're going. How much time can you plan if you now say that you are really consistent and motivated and the level of suffering is high enough? For lipedema or lymphedema? Yes, exactly. Well, with lymphedema, lipedema, I have treated my last lipedema patient. 
three to four times a week, then every 14 days, then three weeks apart. And we are now on a maintenance mode of every three to four months. But the lipidema has gone away significantly or reduced. The centimeters have gone, although it is very different. Some say I want to treat this conservatively for as long as possible, and the other women opt for liposuction. Mm -hmm. And after a liposuction, you have to look at the tissue first. Not every woman is the same, but that's where I usually do three treatments afterwards. And then we leave them and watch the tissue. They have it very much in their own hands. For example, I only spoke to a young lady yesterday who had liposuction. Now she's having a baby in 14 days and got some stress again at the beginning of the pregnancy because the volume has increased again. But then we said, OK, when the baby is there and when it's all over, we'll start again in autumn and it will be fine in that case. Great. Yes, dear Evelyn, it's really nice to hear stories like this and that you are so well cared for in Austria that it's even supported by the health insurance company. It's really fantastic. We haven't got that far in Switzerland or Germany yet. Maybe soon. Yeah, exactly. Constant dripping wears away the stone. It would be worth it. Yeah, definitely. Especially due to the self-responsibility, you can become more independent. Exactly. Nice. If the viewers would like to find out more about it, are there any possibilities? Yes, I have an email address. That is eveline-seabold at dre.at. They can just write a mail and write about it what kind of problem there is, and then we'll see. Then I'll send them some information. Great, perfect. Or at repulse.at, there is, of course, information there too. That is obvious, but I think the company is well known so far, isn't it? Well, there is always something new. We always have new viewers, especially when we address such a special topic. Especially for this topic, we have a doctor in Austria, namely Dr. Schischler. I think he's been your guest a couple of times. And there would definitely be forms of treatment in this direction, further training. That's all going on and in process. And the patients will certainly get information if they want to know something. Great. Thank you very much, Evelyn, for your time. Keep up the good work with great clients and see you soon. See you soon. Thank you, Karina. Dear viewers, I hope you were able to take something away with you. It's really a challenging clinical picture that can make you suffer. If you want to deal with the whole topic more intensively, you're welcome to go to our website, qs24.tv. There you will find further information as well as the contact details for our guest. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful time and see you soon. Bye.